Hey guys, this is sort of like a continuation of a setup of my F16 70mm from Freewing and Motion RC. Um, in the previous video, I did binding, and uh, before I had to do binding, of course, I had to set up the model wizard, which set up my basic plane. And I have ailerons, elevator, throttle, and rudder done. Okay, I asked for two channels for aileron and two channels for elevator, which is um, there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up my other channels. And um, I did want to say uh, this particular plane, um, generally, they come with um, a blue box. And that blue box is essentially a bunch of Ys. It Ys the aileron channels together. It Ys the elevator together. And it Ys the gear channel, which is not on here yet, uh, together. And that little box um, is great. So then you only have one channel for aileron, one channel for elevator, and one channel for gear. And it works great. Personal opinion though, if it's just a Y and it does nothing else, if I've got enough channels, I'd rather put them on separate channels. To me, it just seems a little bit safer. Um, so that's the reason why I set up with two um, ailerons and two elevator channels, okay? So the next thing I gotta do is I'm gonna add my steering um, at my nose steering and my gear. I do like to separate out my rudders from my, my nose steering. Um, so that way I have separate controls and I've got separate trims. Whereas this trim then becomes just for rudder if I need it. And the other, and I would set up another trim for um, just the uh, um, nose steering. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to add channels. Oh, by the way, if you've noticed, I have not plugged in the plane yet. I'm not plugging in servos into the channels yet because I use this list, which the wizard comes up with, to assign my channels. And once I do that, and once I got everything assigned, then I'll go ahead and plug everything in, okay? So let's go ahead and add a channel. Um, the way that it works in FreeSky is a mix is essentially how you add channels. So if you go over here and you see that little plus symbol, or you can just hit the enter button, um, the enter, um, the plus symbol actually adds a channel, and there it is right there. And uh, what I do for almost everything is a free mix. I just do a free mix, and um, I add a channel. So now it says add after. In that previous list over there, do you want the beginning of the list, at the end of the list, first or last position, or after ailerons, elevator, where do you want it? I'm going to put it at the last position, okay? And let's go ahead and name this. <clears throat> and I use my trick again where I use this as a delete button right here. Okay, and now I go ahead and name it. So I'm gonna name this one Steer. Oops, I added a D by accident. Let's get rid of that, let's just start again. Okay, so Steering, okay. The next one is Active Condition. Active Condition means, do you want it to always be on or do you want it to be on only a certain condition and personal opinion for steering I want it on only a certain condition I want it on only when the gear is down in uh, my setup I always use this switch over here as my gear so in this position gear is up this unfortunately is a three position switch but we'll take care of that in a few moments um, and gear this down. would be gear down or this would be gear down gear up Okay, so I want this to be by switch position. And essentially, this is gear up, okay? And I hit return, and then I hit and hold down, and I invert it. So what invert means, you see that, like that uh, exclamation point, then SD up? That means not SD up. So in other words, if SD is in this position or this position, it will be um, on. And when it's in this position, it'll be off. So notice that it's off, on, or on. Okay. So not that position. So let's go ahead and put it down there so we can see it. Source, I want to be... Rudder. Okay, function type additive is correct. Don't want a curve, don't need an offset, but 
as a default, when I'm setting stuff up, I make my weight 50%. Okay. No steering is usually a lot more sensitive than rudder. And so I start at 50% and I see where I end up after I taxi the plane for a while. Okay. Once you've done this, you have not actually assigned it to a channel yet. That's the next step. Okay. So channel count is one. Um, that's correct. And output one. So out, the first output of this mix, not physical output one, but the output of this mix, I want it to go where. And so we'll make steering channel seven. Okay. This channel doesn't have a name. Do you want to copy the mixer's name to the channel? Yes. So now that channel is now called steer. Okay. And yeah, it's right there. Now I've got my steering working. And then when I go ahead and gear up, steering no longer works. And that's exactly what I want. So when the gear is up and retracted, every time I hit the rudder, it's not moving that servo either. Okay. So that mix is done. The next mix I'm going to do is I'm going to add another mix for steer. Okay. Add mix. Now, a lot of people do this in different ways. This is the way that I do it, but um, you know, feel free to do whatever you want. What I'm creating right now is a trim for my steering. Okay. Free mix all, always on in this case is okay. Okay. Source. Okay, I want rudder again. No, I'm sorry. I want this. Okay. And now I'm going to go down to weight and instead of 50%, I'm going to make it really small. I'll just make it like 10%, maybe even less. But again, we'll see what, it, what happens when we do it. I'll show you what this does. Okay. And same thing, I want to go ahead and assign a channel. So the output will be the same as steer, which is channel seven. Okay. So let's take a look at the output and see what happens on this. Okay. Outputs. Now we're going to look down here at channel seven over here. Okay. So gear up, nothing happens. My rudder works, but my steering does not work. Gear down. Gear down. Now my steering works and my nose, my nose is steering. And if I need to trim it just a bit, I've got the ability to trim it. Okay. If I fly this plane a couple of times, and I notice it's always at five or 6%. I can go ahead and just create an offset in the main mix, delete the, the trim mix and just put that offset in the um, in the offset category of that steer. Okay, so my steering is done. The next thing I got to do is add another mix and this will be for gear. What I'm going to do, so that's seven. Okay, so so far I'm using seven channels of my 10 channel receiver. Okay, so I have three gear channels. I've got, you know, landing gear one, landing gear two, and I've got nose gear, and that's three channels. I don't want to use all three. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Y my two main gear and then put another channel for um, nose gear, the gear retracts for the retracts. Okay. Um, I can Y all three of them together, but I'd rather not um, just to be a little bit safer. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a mix again. And I always do a free mix. Last position. Okay. The name of this is going to be gear. Okay. And this will be always on. Source will be this switch over here. Okay. Now, this is a three position switch. Gear up. Okay. The main problem with a three position switch is you have a middle position. Retracts don't like a middle position. So what you should really do is get rid of that middle position. 
or make the middle position the same as one of the extreme throws. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the middle position the same as gear down. Okay, and the way I'm going to do that is with a curve. Go here, next page. Go over here to curves. Add a curve. Name, let's name this one gear. Okay, now it's going to be a custom curve. It's going to be three points. I don't need it to be smooth. And I want the points config. This is how I adjust my three points. So looking at the screen over here, this corresponds to where, where it is when it, the stick is all the way to one side. So in other words, when the switch is all the way up for this one. This would be when the switch is in the middle position, and this would be when the switch is at the bottom position. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to start at the bottom, okay? And I want it to go all the way to 100% when I get to the middle position and stay at 100% when I go to the other position. So that is just a three-point curve. So point one, we're going to make that zero position. Point two, we're going to make that 100. And point three, we're going to make that 100 as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that curve. Okay. Go to gear. Edit. And the one that I created is called gear. There it is. So now, instead yeah. of being a halfway position, which would be here in the middle, it is now full the other direction once I get to the middle position. And then once I go to the bottom position, it just stays there, okay? So my gear is now set. My curve is now set, I should say. And in this particular case, notice it said channel count. I haven't messed with that yet. I want this mix to happen on two channels. I want it to happen on my main gear channel and my nose gear channel. So I want two channels for this to affect. So instead of creating two mixes, I'm just going to make this mix applicable to two channels. Okay, output one. The first output, I'm going to go ahead and add that to eight. Yes. And then output two, I'm going to apply that to nine. Yes. Okay. So now I've got the gear working. Okay, the only thing I would have to do now is turn everything on, plug it all in, see if the channels are going the right direction, and if they are, yay, if not, we'll reverse them. So we'll do that now. So stand by. Okay, I plugged everything in. Um, I checked everything, everything works, uh, but now we just got to check reverse. So let's take a look over here. And I've got my rudder. When I put the stick to the left, that rudder should swing, um, that should swing uh, left. And right now it's swinging right. When I go elevator up, these should point up. Right now they're pointing down. So my rudder is reversed and my um, elevator is reversed. So I got to reverse those two channels, rudder and elevator. Let's go check ailerons. These are ailerons and let's check it. If I go, if I go left, the left aileron should go up, the right one should go down, and it looks like they're both going down when I go left. So got to swap those two. All right, so stand by one second. I will reset so we can see a closer shot of the radio um, and we will adjust that. Okay, guys, um, looks like I got a few things to reverse. Elevator, rudder, for sure. Aileron, one of the channels is reversed. The other one's okay. And um, also my nose steering was also reversed, same as the rudder. Okay. So you can do a lot of those reversing in a mixer. I like to do it in outputs. So this is where I always do my reversing. So that way, if I know I have to change something, I know where it's at. It just makes things a little bit easier for me. Okay. So now... Um, let's go ahead and go to elevator. Okay. And over here you've got invert. Boom. Done. 
Okay, let's go to uh, rudder and invert, done. Let's go to steering. Invert, done. Okay, my gear is okay, and my aileron. So, don't know if it's aileron one or two, so I'm gonna guess and just try it. Invert, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. I know you guys can't see it, but of course I'm backwards. So let's go back to that, make that normal, and take the other channel of ailerons, which is right there, and invert that. And that is correct. Okay, that's your basic setup. Thank you very much, guys, and have a good day.